Hi Scorpio, it's Lulu and welcome to your indie love read. Okay, so let's see what your feelings are towards your person. What are Scorpio's feelings towards their person? One more time. Okay. Religious factors. Free yourself. Oh boy. Retreat. What's under religious factors? Very soon. What's under free yourself? A flirt. And give us give the relationship a chance is under retreat. Okay, let's see what's going on, Scorpio, because what is happening here? All right. So the first thing up is a difference in beliefs, possibly relationships or just you understand that this person needs to get moving, get going, get out, have some fun. Um, maybe they uh, become stagnant in the relationship where they don't do some of the things that they did at first. They may even have mental blocks and you're trying to help them with that. You probably try to have them to this to a meditation. Ain't no telling what you try to get them, get them to do because you see the truth. Um, this person may even be uh, disconnected from, gets into a space where they delete all their social media, uh, just pull back a lot, right? They go cold and you can't really, you want to talk to them and get, get through to them, but it's kind of hard. They're not putting in as much effort in the relationship as you are possibly. I also feel here that there is something, one moment, there is something that um, they need to make a decision about. And I think it has something to do with like you're giving them a, an ultimatum possibly when it comes to their upbringing, right? Because there's some type of difference between the two of you. Let's just start clarifying because they may have lost control of certain things in their life, tried not to see it, tried to, you know, block it out, which gives them like this escapism type energy. What is this uh, religious factors? I thought I turned these cards around. Hold on. Religious factors, seven of pentacles in the reverse. They're not, they may be someone who don't really have any kind of beliefs, right? And it's important to figure out what a person's beliefs are or close to it. Because sometimes people can say what their beliefs are, but they're not operating in the belief, right? But that seven of pentacles in the reverse, they gave up on something. Maybe they gave up on, they used to believe some of the same things that you believe when it comes to relationships or religion, spirituality, whatever it is, Okay. But they have a disconnect. And it even looks like a disconnect in this card now that I'm looking at it. Her crown is disconnected from my head, but she's still in touch, right? What is this for yourself that Scorpio feels towards this person? The King of Swords. Ugh, I'm going to put in an upright because I, I meant to turn these cards around. I cleared them, but I meant to turn them around. So they may overthink things. They may even be in a circle, taking themselves through a cycle. And you can just see a repetitive pattern of mental behavior with this person, right? They do the, you know, the same thing over and over. They feel like they don't need to step outside of the box because they are comfortable in the space that they are in, right? What is this? It's time to disconnect from the world. Maybe you want to take a vacation with this person, Ten of Pentacles. I think you married to them. But, you know, maybe they have a money on their mind a lot. Need to bring some type of balance to the relationship with the Ten of Pentacles. It could even be that, you know, this person may, y'all may live in different um, homes. Or it feels like y'all live in different homes. Right? Um, okay. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, this person has a routine that they stick to. All right. What is this very soon? Making a decision very soon. The king of wands in the reverse. They're not excited about making a decision. They may even be like disgruntled or um, this may be the type of person when it comes to they'll argue possibly or they're just in their lower nature when it comes to their vision. So the vision that they have for themselves and, and the relationship or anything for that matter, right? It may be that they are stuck in a certain type of way. And if you try to get them to um, decide on one little thing that could make a big difference, they become disgruntled. All right. 
So I just left it in the reverse. All right. Let me see. It could be the other way now. All right. Making a decision to lead, making a decision to take action on things that, you know, really inspire them. That could be it as well, because they may be someone who doesn't believe in life purpose. They may be someone who doesn't believe in callings. Um, they may not believe um, in themselves. OK, and you may believe in them more than they believe in themselves, which can cause an issue in a relationship, because then you go into a space where you want to prove to somebody who they are, but they are not unwilling to like take action on who they are because of what you see all right what does this extend your lighthearted energy to others they need to reach out to someone because they've been stuck in a box stuck in a trap what is this flirt energy the fool a free spirit you want them to free themselves from the confines of their mind or their conditioning or programming but i also get here with this fool card it's like you know that you want them to be more adventurous maybe you're trying to get them to view things from a different perspective so that they can open up more to life right this may be one of those people because there are people who know this is how it goes. Everything is calculated. Everything is this way or that way. They live a very linear lifestyle and coming outside of that or trying to think outside of that box or do something outside of that box makes them uncomfortable because they haven't done it in so long. Maybe something happened that put them in that space the last time they had an adventure or did something, you know, took a leap of faith and just, you know, you know, maybe they were young when it, the last time that happened and they got into some shit. Just throw caution to the wind. What does this give your relationship a chance that Scorpio feels toward this person? Knight of Cups. Bring the romance back into the relationship. Bring some love back into it. You know, make a romantic gesture. Do something different. Um, be more open, right? to dating again right because i really do feel like whoever this is you've been in a re relationship with this person for a very long time and it could just be like um, a family member or whoever but you want them to um get out more maybe together right let's do something let's have some fun let's yeah you, you know you want to try this no because this that and the other like oh my goodness all right so let's see here let me turn some of these cards around back around but um, with this person, this is what I'm getting, okay? With this person, I do feel that, you know, after so long, you just have to be the model of what it is that you are talking about and how you're moving. Because you can only convince a person so long, try to convince them so long. When you don't see any action being taken, you know, stop wasting your time. Go ahead and start living the life that you are trying to show them. And, you know, try to be as respectful as possible is my advice. But, you know, don't give up on your birthright because someone doesn't want to take, um, throw caution to the wind and step out on faith, step into the truth of who they are, how they are, why they are, whose they are. Because y'all do have a different belief system. And with having a different belief system from someone else, it can cause tension in a relationship. That's why you figure it out early on so that you will know what it is that you are getting yourself into. Because remember, some people don't want to um, grow the way that you may want to grow and that is okay they have a right to that it's just will you continue to you know um keep your will you be put in a loop with them right will you be put in a loop with them it's the equivalent of if somebody goes to jail will you be locked up with them right all right so let's see how they feel towards you let me change this okay uh, what are their feelings towards Scorpio, please? Here we are. All right. So we have pay attention to the red flags. True love. All right. You deserve love. Okay. I see where this is. That's why they like that. Engagement is under pay attention to the red flags. Codependency is under true love. And passion is under you deserve love. I see where this is going, but let's just walk it through. So they feel like something that you say or do is a red flag to them. It's off-putting to them. Um, they know that you love them, but they also know that they 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 don't know it. They just feel right because you're trying to tell them how you know to bring more passion and, and and enjoyment and adventure into the relationship. The thing about it is they feel like you are um, codependent. When it, you depend too much on them doing things a certain way. You depend on them too much to uh, be a certain way. All right. They feel like you're very passionate. They do like, you know, the, I mean, that's that's cool, yeah, you know. But um, 
they want you to know that you are fine just the way you are but also with this pay attention to the red flags and the engagement under here there's some type of caution they are standoffish because of what what is this uh pay attention to the red flags that they feel towards scorpio honey the will of fortune too good to be true okay they think that you are too good to be true high priestess and the eight of cups um <laughs> This is some Scorpio shit. So let me tell you, this person may be, okay? So we always wait for the facts, right? This is for entertainment purposes only. This person sees you as someone that you, you psychic as a motherfucker, right? But the thing about it is they think that, you know, you may find out some things that will have you to leave them, right? They may see you as someone who has options or you just ain't putting up with a whole lot. Okay, what is this true love that they are feeling towards Scorpio? The three of pentacles. When you are doing certain things for them and, and y'all are collaborating or doing things in cooperation with one another, they know that this, they know your value. And just because somebody sees your value, because that's what that you deserve love is saying, just because somebody sees your value doesn't mean that they will react or give um, reciprocity when it comes to that value. Because of, again, this person is caught up in a, a matrix in a mental matrix right what is this you deserve love that um this person feels towards scorpio the four of wands you a good homemaker a good you know a good time you have y'all have fun i mean you're fun to be around you keep your place clean um everything that you do is seamless possibly you may be in that queen of cups energy overall and with that four of wands, they just know that, you know, you have a lot to offer. Again, I feel like this person knows your value. What is this engagement? They want, they know that this is taking a turn and they know that they have to make a decision soon. What is this engagement that this person feels? Ace of swords. And they're going to communicate something to you. It may even be that, ooh, ace of cups and the eight of cups. Okay, so by the next moon cycle, major moon cycle, they're going to bring justice to this situation. It's going to be... Something that, you know, you've been anticipating. I hope y'all don't argue because the five of ones want to come out, but it will be some clarity. Ace of ones came behind that. This person sees you as the queen of pentacles. Okay. But they want to reach, they're going to say something because they feel like you're going to walk away from them. They see it coming. They feel it coming. Okay. They pay attention to everything. They ain't dumb. So this is clarity coming in. Clarify this ace of swords. The Six of Pentacles wanting to make it right, balance it out, make it work. This may even, yeah, they are slow to move because of uh, something that hurt them in the past. What was this that hurt them in the past? Somebody had them under some type of illusion in their last relationship. So they kind of stand offish. And for a long time, they were playing the field and all that. But this is the first time in a long time that they have been in a space where they really want to make something work, but they really don't know how. Even though you're telling them, they may need someone that's a role model or someone that's a little older than them to make help them understand what is going on. Like, for real. Because the, the type of person that you are dealing with, um, this may be their first real relationship or their first go at a real relationship again after a long time. What is this codependency that they feel towards Scorpio? Page of Cups. Sometimes you be like a little baby or whatever. Okay, sometimes you know, me, 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 won't, 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 won't you do this? They think that you are codependent because of um, the things that you say, they think you're very strategic. Uh, they think that you don't take time out to think things through before making. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm reading before I flip them around Seven of Swords, the Hangman in the reverse, and the Knight of Swords, right? So they may think that you are um, strategic. Okay, could be manipulative. I don't think so, though. But they may think that you are strategic when it comes to sh getting a, having this person to show affection to you. What is this passion that they feel towards uh, Scorpio? The Nine of Wands. All right. So you may be in a space where, you know, they see you as someone who... Ah, okay. So when it comes to passion, when it comes to... You know, being sensual, well, let's say sexual, because sometimes people, when you say sensual, they immediately think sex. Okay, it's not always that, but intimacy, um, you fear, you, there, you may have your reserves about certain things when it comes to intimacy. What is this nine of wands? You may need to express this shit. Two of cups. 
when it comes to getting too close and being passionate because you're so self-aware. Maybe you have this thing. I used to be like that, but not now, babe. I'm letting it all hang out. You hear me? Maybe you have this thing that uh, when I was younger, I had it. I don't want to have, I don't want to do nothing with the light on. I don't want to, you know, I'm going to wear a t-shirt and all this when I start gaining weight, when I get to gaining too much weight up in her and shit like that. I don't want, child, not now though. Child, please. But maybe that's something too, maybe you're self-conscious when it comes to intimacy and they may be having that conversation with you soon. 